Welcome to another video on my Raspberry Pi 1 uh, running Raspbian and Linux and doing some experiments with cameras and in this case it's a um, Raspberry Pi camera directly connected on board to the Raspberry Pi uh, then a Zero Pi Plus with um, zero cable uh, the black cable is HDMI to a monitor which is actually well, this one which doesn't show anything um, network cable for VNC for two net computing and then other camera directly connected to USB so not really on board all effects that um, are shown on screen computer screen, so let's go there alright, so um, last time I did uh, a test with Raspberry Steel which is a command for the Raspberry Pi camera to grab images and you can do various things with it but since I have a camera um, this one um, pointed at the Raspberry Pi with streaming that is streaming um, I thought okay uh, so why not stream um, on the Raspberry Pi itself so I have uh, via GU VC view the same camera here which is streaming and at the same time, well, this is streaming anyway, but here, and uh, let's go back, hopefully that this terminal will follow. I am streaming via um, Raspi video. And that is... Um, via VLC media player streaming over the network exactly the same so I have three angles of the same board and here you can see a close-up from the camera on USB this one uh, holding a uh, help by first technique stand which I made so three streamings and of course this one is not via the Raspberry Pi but via the laptop but um, given the fact that it is um, an old one the Raspberry Pi 1 uh, B plus I think um, not uh, an enormous amount of memory so everything is a bit slow but it does work and that's the main thing so what can I do with it? well I can record it I can even make a very high definition uh, video a streaming via the VLC media player but these ones uh, are very nice pictures even this one which is directly um, connected to uh, the Raspberry Pi and with another uh, video I made recently two actually on the Raspberry Pi 2 it turns out that you have to use Raspbian Linux although it's currently renamed to Ras uh, Raspberry Pi OS that gives the best image not Ubuntu so um, yeah, let's uh, see how the high definition works out. And to do that, I of course have to cancel uh, this program. And you see immediately that VLC is going black. And now which one to use 
not this one, because this one you just watched. And you also notice uh, that it is quite slow. Um, because of this streaming, and I need Raspi VLC Stream HD, which is by the way a script I made myself. Just like this one which you just watched. Anyway, Raspi VLC. Enter. And yeah, there I have activity. So I'm going to media network stream and this is the software port 8504 play and VLC is running on my laptop. So basically, yep, there we have it. And that is a very wide image. And let's see if I can do something else with it. Yeah. So this is a very different stream. Very high definition, I might add. Is there a difference? Well, uh, apart from the fact that this camera is not really old anymore. Oh, here you see the format, H.264. Lua script, anyway, that's technical details. But I think that this is clearer, somehow, than this one. And what's the purpose of those three cameras? Just trying to see if it works. Does it work out, yes or no? And let me move the Raspberry Pi camera uh, backwards as long as the cable holds. And you notice the, t the delay in time. So here should be something visible. And I'm not noticing it yet. So apparently, we have a block prevented. Okay, string buffering done, then streaming. So in a couple of seconds, hopefully not minutes, I will be seeing something here in this uh, camera view. But I'm wondering about it. This is very slow indeed. Yeah, now I see something. Okay, that was more than a minute and it is streaming video. So basically with a lot of more memory and perhaps this video disabled or closed, um, it should be going a lot faster. But it's interesting to see anyway. On a little board, um, two cameras attached, high definition video, not bad. And uh, people have used this as a streaming board, the Raspberry Pi. So I assume that will have been with a lot more memory, otherwise uh, something has already finished before you start watching. And um, I th don't think that is the idea. And um, 
something uh, remarkable is that after 10 minutes of running, uh, no, after 10 minutes stopping the last segment, this happens. It completely loses its uh, video connection. Why that is, I'm not quite sure. But let me just start the um, stream again. It does not say it has no video, and there it comes. So somehow um, it loses its feed, its video feed. And I can't say it's a very sharp image. But it is from the Raspberry Pi camera nonetheless. It's quite grainy to be. Uh, yeah. And no matter uh, if I um, make it a smaller view, it is quite grainy. And this one has really sharp pins. Everything is sharp. So I'm not quite sure why that is. Let me, um, yeah. We've seen the other one, which is uh, which is also quite grainy. So I'm not quite sure what the cause is. Another point is, of course, um, all my efforts with this uh, camera is quite limited by the 10 centimeters long flat cable of the camera. And uh, this camera, and then of course I mean the Fish Technique camera which records this view and which records this view, there we go again, um, have cords. Not cables, uh, well, uh, not flat cables anyway. So, here's something that um, is un quite unfortunate. Um, but something I apparently have to deal with. So, with that said, uh, is there any more to do? Uh, well, you've seen one, uh, not high definition. Um, high definition. I'll have to start the stream again. And well, this uh, this is obviously more much more interesting since this is uh, via the Raspberry Pi itself. So uh, more things to do. Hmm. It's not picking it up, obviously, or maybe it isn't, I'm too fast. Anyway, nice experiment, what to do with it, that's another question. And with those uns uncertain results, uh, as far as this camera goes, um, Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or suggestion, much appreciated. Um, you can also follow me via Instagram and Twitter. Please show support by uh, either donating via PayPal or uh, via IBAN or become a patron. And thanks to my patron who is listed on my website. Um, this is going to be continued in some way, so stay tuned. Um, please visit my website for many other projects that I have. And stay safe. Have a nice day. Bye.